and welcome back. A question. Why do millions of electronic devices all have a bit of spruce pine North Carolina inside them? This is a fabulous story thanks to BBC Futures. There's a quarry in North Carolina for hundreds of years has produced sand, mica, and at the back of the quarry there was this annoying white stuff, this hard quartz. Nobody wanted it. Fire and hole. Well, they do now. It turns out that the spruce pine quartz is just about the purest in the world. They now call it white gold. Amazingly, they sell it for 10,000 US dollars a ton, making this tiny mine in the village of spruce pine a three hundred million dollar annual operation. Can you believe they actually mine over 30,000 tons of this white quartz to all go into microchips? I've always wondered, what is the next part of the process to turn a rock into a computer chip? Well... First, they melt the quartz in a furnace at 1400 degrees Celsius and they build a crystal. These crystals are cut up into wafers, coated with a light sensitive dye, and photographically printed layers and layers of circuitry. The next step is to etch away and produce a three dimensional matrix which produces the actual connections. Every silicon chip has between a thousand. 2,000 layers in it to produce the circuitry which is required for your computer. Eventually, when the process is finished, it leaves billions of transistors, which are basically switches. Of course, these chips and the circuitry on them is minute, so workers have to be very clean. A single piece of dust or even a human hair would ruin your Game Boy fun. So a hillside in North Carolina is actually the US's fourth largest export to the rest of the world. Good on them. And China, who is the electronic manufacturing capital of the world, spent over 120 billion US dollars on buying sands from North Carolina. Well, that was my story of the day. I woke up with that thinking, that's fascinating and I wanted to share it with you because the truth is out there.